What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Shots by Pat. The very first episode of Kicks Behind the Picks. Very first episode of this YouTube page, though. I just did a little introduction and I went around Brooklyn and I did a little horrible representation of a video. Please don't uh, judge me on that. But I took a week to figure out what I want to call this page. And I'm going to call it the Kicks Behind the Picks. So pretty much I will show you guys a pair of kicks that I am wearing that day while I'm doing the shoot. But the primary focus of this page is to show off what I've done. So today I have my boy Chris. We're going to do a shoot later on. But before I do that, I'm going to show you what's in my camera bag for this shoot. All right, so I'm about to show you guys what's in my camera bag before we head out. In the background, you may see a pair of sneakers that I might be wearing today. That might be the kicks behind the picks. But first and foremost, I have the GoPro 7. Re reason why is because I will be doing some video while doing the shoot. Put that to the side. I have my Nikon 50 millimeter. Let's dig in a bag. So last week I shot with my Z5. This week I'm shooting with my Nikon 850. It's probably the best camera Nikon has out right now. That is a DSLR. That is not a mirrorless. Perfect in low light. It uh, 45.7 megapixels if I'm not mistaken. So you're probably gonna ask me why am I gonna shoot with two cameras? I'll show you why later on. The aforementioned Z5, my mirrorless camera. Shot with this last week, but I'm gonna shoot with this one again today. I have my battery grip for my 850. With the tripod piece connected to it. My Godox X1C. Now last week I didn't shoot with it because I was shooting outside. But being that this is a studio shoot, I will be using this for this for today's shoot. And last but not least, I have my Sigma. 15, I'm sorry, 18 to 35 millimeter. This is a DX format on FX camera, but it is a very good lens. It's very sharp and super crisp. And that's what's in my camera bag for today's shoot. All right, see you guys in the front. Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Shots by Pat. I'm out here with my good friend Chris G. So you're about to see us do some behind the scenes work. Dope ass studio, you know what I mean? So stay tuned, alright? Just wrapped up a shoot with the boy Chris. Use this handy dandy cami. And uh, let's see what happened. What's up guys? So you saw the final shoot that, you saw the final product of what I did with Chris, uh, how the shots came out. Um, everything that you saw in it was just raw, straight out the camera. And, and anything, you'll see the final edits on my Instagram page, at Shots by Pat, all over Instagram. So um, stay tuned till next week's video in which I'll be showing off the cameras that I use. Also, I went out around town in Brooklyn again, but this time at night, practicing low light images with the Nikon 50 and the Z5. I mentioned those because you already, you already saw the two that I've used before. And with those two cameras, I've taken pictures with the low, with the showing low light sensitivity and things like that with the two cameras. So once you see the images that I've taken, then I have them side by side in the video, letting you see what I did with the Z5 and what I did with the 850. It'd be a much better representation of what I did before at Domino Park in um, Brooklyn. I'm still in Brooklyn. It's gonna be Brooklyn Bridge Park this time, but you see the two images, they're totally different. So. You guys be the judge for this. So thank you guys for linking into Kicks Behind the Picks. It's your boy Shots by Pat. You can always find me once again at Shots by Pat. 
And also, you can find me on Nights at the Roundtable podcast, in which I discuss sports. But I know this is a photography podcast, so I will not be plugging anything with sports after that, all right? We'll see you guys next week. Peace.